Hi, I'm Roger Harrison and I do the training seminars here every month. Next to me is a bench grinder, also known as a pedestal grinder, that came from the manufacturer with wheel covers. And you got to be careful that the wheel cover is not too far open because if the grinding wheel should shatter, you don't want any wider a path of dispersion for those that debris than you have to. So there's limitations in OSHA on the wheel cover that way. The end of the wheel cover has got to cover the spindle end and nut as this one does. As far as the opening requirements, there's a test gauge you can get like this to make sure you have no more than an eighth inch opening between the work rest and the wheel, as is the case here, and no more than a quarter inch opening between the tongue guard and the wheel, also known as the spark arrester. So eighth inch here, quarter inch here. On this one, we've got way too big an opening on both the work rest and the uh, spark arrester, which would have to be adjusted because that is a very common OSHA violation. What we have added to this is an electrically interlocked shield, which has to be in the down position before you start up the machine. Now, to provide this machine with dropout protection, also known as anti-restart, we have a uh, power interruption device tied into the electrical so that if you have lost power on this machine, then the power comes back and you want to restart, you have to hold down the reset button as you start it up over here. Thank you.